Why are you averse to the peace of the world? Yes. Please, you guys should quit. I think I, you ever, have you not done enough? Now that you, you are a born again Christian, you are not carrying Bible all over the school. Hope you stop chasing Mimi in school. Chasing who? See, I'm going after them before. See, see let, give this a try. It's Bible, give it a try. Give what a try? See, it will give us knowledge, more knowledge about this world. Um, Austin, I, I came in here to call you so we can go and get something for ourselves. You know, it's break period. Uh, let's just go and get snacks. I'm, 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 I'm starving. Just snacks. We we'll still come back. Keep and this Bible. Keep put this thing. You shall continue the Bible. Uh, let's go. You don't you hope, you. hope you have. You have. Ah, ah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I, 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 I kept to school. Not enough. And we always not it. Baby girl, quitting is not an option here. I didn't remember asking you that question, Joy. I'm talking to Eva. And I answered on her behalf. So? Uh-uh. I, I, how do you know what is in her mind? I know. Girls, please, please, just don't do this. Um, do this. Yeah? So, you want to know if I'm going to stop my revenge at Mimi? Yes. The answer is no. No is the answer. I want to see her begging on her news. I want to pound that flesh from my body. Not that she doesn't realize what is coming her way. That's why you stopped us yet to start blabbing this nonsense. And please don't try it next time. Okay. 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 You all are aware that the convention is coming up in a few days' time. We are standing here to see what it will look like standing before the audience. I'm listening to them. Remember, you're not supposed to wear cloudy faces while singing songs of joy to your audience. Is that right? Yes, yes sir. Now we have two songs. How great thou art and what you want again? Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. So I'm going to start with uh, great is thy faithfulness. And Mimi, our lead singer, will raise it. Then we join her from there. Mimi, over to you. Great is thy faithfulness. One, two, three, go. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Stop. What's up with these two girls? Now, come and put you. I want to see outside. Come on. Come out. Assistant, take over. Okay, let's continue. Great is thy faithfulness. Go. Great is thy faithfulness. Listen, I brought of you out to talk to you. The conversation is around the corner. I don't like what's going on between two of you. Listen, listen carefully. If there's any issue between two of you, 
You must resolve it right now for the common good of the choir. Is that clear? Sir, I don't have any problem with anyone. Me too. But listen, it is very obvious that two of you have a brawl. And I want to know what it is and it must be resolved right away here now. Eva is the one having issues with me. I don't know what she's So what's the about. issue? I don't know what she's talking about. Alright, now listen. Listen, listen good. Whatever it is, has to be resolved right away here and now. I'll give people five minutes to handle it. Five minutes, I said. This is like you don't want to leave here. Eva, are we going to keep looking at each other forever? You tell me. I don't have anything against you. Yet you want everything I want. Why is that? Are you not going after Austin in this call? See, I told you, Austin and I are just friends. You've always been a liar and a pretender. See, Eva, I'm not a liar and I'm not a pretender. I know you hate me. Why will I hate you? And if you had your way, you would hurt me. <laughs> Come on. See, Eva, the church is just like you and I. Alright then, you want peace? Yes, everybody wants peace. Then you have to step down for the role of the lead chorus in this church. You know I can't do that. Then the fight continues. See, Eva, I'm not scared of you. I just want us to be in a good time. That's just what I want. Are you sure? You don't know me, oh. <laughs> Of course I do. You are the girl that set me up, that make me look bad. You still don't know me. Um, Austin, you know, Mimi and Eva are two different kinds of girls. And that's what I'm saying, bro. They have similar backgrounds. And um, who told you about this? <laughs> well, they go to the same church. And they're even family friends. How did you know all this? Okay. We are in the same church. We are choristers. Choristers. Are you sure? Very sure. Wow. Um, okay. Um, Austin. We are just three here now. Okay. Tell us the truth. Among the both of them, who are you dating? See, I'm not thinking towards that direction right now. Do you get it? Maybe he's dating the both of them and he's hiding something from us. Stop that, bro. I'm not telling you guys anything. You know, I've been interested in that girl called Eva. Really? Are you sure she wants you? Mm, actually, I don't really know because I don't know what a girl needs in a guy this time around. <sighs> Come on, guys. Can we talk about something else? Must it be gears all the time? Something else like like what? We can talk about sports, other things. Sports. sports. One thing I know is that the choir master wants us to resolve this, and I don't think that's happening. We can't even agree on small basic things. Hope you know you are the one supposed to be blamed for that. No, we can't even get along. So then, are we going to stand there looking at each other? We can agree on something. What is that? I guess we should get, get inside there and tell the choir master what he wants to hear. You want to lie to the choir master? Are you not tired of standing here? You not tired of standing here? Sorry, Sarah. Stop for us.
two girls. Two of you again? What's the problem for God's sake? What's the problem? Such is the word. What's the meaning of this? Sir, we are sorry. Brother B. Honestly, I enjoyed today's choir rehearsal. It was fun! Yeah. Is it for Eva and me drama? Hey! My sister. Drama? Was it that obvious? You asking me? <laughs> you are still asking me. My sister, it was very obvious. Yeah. I will tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was very, very obvious. Fine. Hey, ah. besides, what did the choir master take you and Eva outside to go and do? He said he wanted us to work together. You and Eva? Work together, but you're already working together. I mean, you're in the same choir, obviously. He noticed the friction, that's why. Ah, but why are you always quarreling with mm. Eva? I'm not the one quarreling with her. Then what's the problem? I don't know. My, my question now is, when will this thing end? This thing you between you and Eva, is it ever going to have an end? You see, Martha, I don't know. And that doesn't bother me at all. If she wants, she can like me. It's none of my business. Let's just go. Ah, that's a good thing. Nice one. Nice one. I think Eva, it's high time you find you find a way and you know make peace with Mimi. Never I hate her. Ever. You have said that before. Did I ask for your opinion? Say it here. Ha! Excuse me. Why did you just call me that, Eva? And what will you do? Do you want an apology? Is you guys to stop all this? Just because you are dating my brother. That's what gives you the right to talk to me anyhow. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, apologies on her behalf. But why apologies to her? Ah. Treat it. If you're upset, go and hit your head of the door. Mark, did you just hear her? But ever, ever, can you just stop all this? Eh? You should channel your your your, your anger to an appropriate quarter, not her now. She's not the one that got you angry. What is even wrong with you guys? Eh? It's After fine. all, Julius is not the one that got you upset. It's fine. Ah. Coming in. No, we'd rather stay here. They're asking me to Please, Eva, please don't start. Don't start again. Please, don't start again. Okay, then I'll give you a call in the next game. Bye. No, I want to be here. Will you come to the front? I'm not your driver. Oh, you're my brother. I'm not gonna warn you again. Come to the front. All right, all right. I'm ah. coming over. Please don't yell at Please me. Please stop on woman being. Don't you know that you are late? Look at time. Are you the big boy in this? Hey, 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 Hello, are you ready for the test? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You know I'm giving you a different set of questions since you claim to have written the other one with your classmates. I know that, ma'am. Well, I took a liberty to set the questions and they are not easy questions. Ma, I think I'm ready. I spent all my time last night preparing for it. Wow. 
I love your confidence. Okay. Here. With your questions and your answers, Chris. What's it over there? Okay. Very well. Um, you are to attend five questions and you have one hour. Okay. Your time starts now. Mimi, she's in Mr. Akin's office. What's she doing there? She's taking her test. Oh, yeah, the one the script is missing. Okay, it's today. Yeah, it's okay, today. Okay, okay. Well, it's a good thing you're here. Okay. I want to talk to you. Ha! Talk to me. Hope you're not going to judge me. Because you do that a lot. <laughs> I will not judge you, okay? See, you seem like someone who is confused 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 about what well about life itself i'm not confused are you sure i'm not confused see the first step in solving any problem is identifying the problem oh now i have a problem hmm? i'm just trying to help what makes you think that i need your help Calm down. Don't take it like that. This is exactly why ever I had girls always have problem with you because you think you are the best in I am, school. Oh God, I am not better than anyone. They stop the judgment. You are not God. You are matter. I am not judging. Is it difficult to understand? Get it up there. Excuse me. Girl, I don't really understand you. Why would you let that low like me come visit you at the place at the first time? I don't know. That's what the kind of master wants. Yeah. So why would you suggest that at the first place? I don't know. It is Mimi and I need to bond together since we are the one leading in choir. Are you going to visit Mimi at her place? Yes, I will. I don't like this. Neither do you. I thought I wanted to make Mimi life miserable. Yes. You can take advantage of that. She coming to your place to do that. Hmm. That was not a bad idea. I'm already condoning some things now in my head. Things like what? The less you know, the better for you. Okay. Uh -uh. Judith, no. why with the long face? Is it not that stupid girl matter? What has she done? What do you think? How many times have we told you to stick with us? I don't know what you find so interesting between matter and Mimi. Judith, you know what? Why you don't want is because you're not the same class with them. Will you come and join us and sit and stop keeping your face like that? I don't know. I think we play some games and maybe discuss a little. Do you have any game? Yeah, I have a game called um, Concentration. How do you play it? Okay, it goes this way. Uh, is Let's play names of countries. If I call a country name, you call then anybody that feels the next person is a winner. I don't really want to feel it, but I'm not really <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, 
names of countries we know, names of countries we know. Brazil, Argentina, Spain, Portugal, US, Colombia, Italy, London. <laughs> I tell you, Phil. Oh, you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Um, you know, we'll be missing each other because we we're going to leave this school for good very soon. Speak for yourself, bro. You know, I got plans. I know you've been missing me. You know, me and I are going to the same university. But I told you. The same university. You never mentioned that to me. I hope you guys talked about this. Mm, yeah, we did. Okay, that means it's not going to be a coincidence then. What do you think? Um, are you guys studying the same course in the same school? No, 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 no. You know, I'm going for computer science. My name is going for medicine. You know, I'm good with the kids. <laughs> Mm, I heard that medicine students study hard. Come on, bro. You know Mimi. She got the brains. Yeah. So coming back to you, what's your plan after here? For me, oh, I got good plans for myself. You know, my elder brother is in US. Yeah, that's true. And um, he said once I'm done, I should come over there. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow, bro. You never mentioned that to me. Uh, because you also never mentioned to me that you're schooling in the same school with the love of your life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So what's your plan? My plan is if I get there, I'll go and also. Also? Yeah. Have education, bro. It's important. Education. Uh, you know, once I get there, now in the next five years, I'll come back and establish. Maybe some endorsements might reach me by then. And may, I might even employ you if I'm back. If you're jobless by then. <laughs> Blame me. <laughs> this guy can't be serious. <laughs> you know, nowadays in society, the, the uneducated, ones are the ones creating job opportunities for the educated ones like you. <laughs> That's all. Uh, okay, so we the same. Stay big game to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish you good luck. Yeah, and you too, bro. I really miss you. Uh, me too. Okay, now. Nah. Okay, on, on. Um, I want to go down now. I'll see you later. Check class, okay? Okay. I'm done, Mom. Really? You need only 10 minutes to spare. Let me have the script. Alright, I'll mark it and get the script back to you before the end of today. Thank you, Mom. Amirabe. Mom. What cause do you intend studying in the university? Medicine surgery, Mom. Hmm, that's fine. That's nice. May I ask why? Well, um, I love people and I would love to save the country and people also. So, you're trying to tell me that if an offer comes, let's say USA, you won't want to leave this country? No, ma. My father do say there's like, no place like home. Your father? Yes, ma. What does your father do for a living? He's a businessman. Alright. Okay, don't worry. You get your script before the end of today. Thank you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one comes to the Father except through me. He also made us understand that we will know the truth, and the truth shall set us free. Yeah, that's correct. That is why we, as Christians, are enjoined to be born again. Yeah, you're right. Only when we get born again, we become an embodiment of Christ. And only then will the Holy Spirit come in to dwell in us. Yes, yes. But, Andrew, something is bothering me. And what could that be? I have a friend of mine who is confused about what to do or what not to do. She keeps getting affected by peer pressure and the rest of them. And each time I bring her close to talk to her, she keeps rebuffing me. I understand. But you have nothing to worry about. There are a lot of them in this school. Yeah. But I will advise, if you really care about this person so much, don't give up on her. I believe someday she will come to realize the truth. I'm tired. Because each time I call her to talk to her, the first thing that comes to her mind is that I want to judge her. That is simply because she doesn't know the truth. When she knows the truth, it will set her free. And only then will she understand that this is only coming from a place of love.
Oh, how are you doing? It's not that you're coming. Are you guys done already? Yes, we're done. Oh. done. Right. No, I was writing my desk in Mr. office. Are you serious? How was the test? Fine. But she gave me another set of questions. Another set of questions? Did you see it coming? Oh, I tried it. <laughs> Thank God, and you wrote well. Ah, definitely now. I trust <laughs> you. Well, it's a good thing you're here because our teacher wants to see us in the classroom. Why? It's not only you, everybody. Before your heart will start skipping. What is going on? I don't know. It could be anything, but let's just go. What I know is in 10 minutes' time, everybody should be seated in the classroom. Okay, no problem. All right, I will, I will see you guys next week. Okay. It's another right. time for this, okay? Yeah, please, we'll fix it. And please, day. always study your scriptures and sure. pray. Sure. Take care of yourselves. All right. Thank you, Andrew. Bye. Yeah, bye. bye, -bye. takes to take care of you. What is wrong with you? The last time we spoke, Mr. Smart, you told me you're not married. That's not true now. Is it? Of course it is. I, I, I'm not married. You can't get yourself to be honest with me. I guess someone has been feeding you a lot of poison about me. You don't need to listen to that. Is that an answer to my question? Um, okay. See, my wife and I are separated, okay? And that is why I'm here trying to get you to be mine. So, does that make you a single man? Of course, I am I'm single. I did not wake up with any woman in my house. Mr. Smart, I was told you are a liar and a cheat. Um, see, that is enemies all over the place, just trying to sabotage my name. You don't need to listen to that. I'm not convinced. <sighs> okay, um, Rose, just tell me, what can I do to convince you? Be yourself, Mr. Smart. Let me even ask you, am I the first couple in this school you're asking out? <sighs> of course, I'm myself. And okay, what if I say no? Would you run away? <laughs> Are you saying no? I see you're the smart one, right? And your name is Mr. Smart. Hmm. To share you. 